Hey guys, Ali here from Local Knowledge. Right now it's the dead middle of April. The weather's been kind of kicking our butts here in Southern California, but on the days that we have been able to get out, the yellowtail fishing has been really good. And this is a normal thing, starting with kind of the Fred Hall season, middle of March, all the way through the middle of June. The local yellowtail fishing, it has its up and downs, but it's typically very solid. This is the time of year if you want to catch that yellowtail that's been on your list. There's a couple ways primarily that everybody's been fishing for them. And the first, and being in Southern California, this isn't news, is live bait. The party boats are going to chum really heavy this time of year, and once the yellows kind of get with it, as the water warms up, they'll come to the surface, they'll boil on that chum, and if you can get a bait in or near that chum, you're in business. For fishing the bait side of things, what I really like to do is I use fluorocarbon with a short top shot about the length of my rod with straight braid. For bait fishing, I always try to get away with 40 pound fluoro if I can. Sometimes they don't want to bite that as well. So I'll step down to a 30 pound fluoro. The other really key component to bait fishing is matching your hook to the size of the bait. Now, if you put too big of a hook into a small bait, the bait won't swim, it doesn't look natural, it won't get bit. I like to use these mustad circle hooks typically, but sometimes for yellowtail fishing, I will use a J hook. Generally, if I'm gonna use a bigger sardine, six, eight inch sardine, or a small mackerel, medium mackerel, I like like a 4 ringed circle demon hook. These work great because you really don't have to think about anything. The fish is gonna hook himself. When that bait gets picked up and you can't feel it, your thumb can't stop the tension, let him eat it for just a second, Put the reel in gear, point it at them, and turn the handle, Randall, and you're on. And the good thing about circles is you're going to get them in the corner of the mouth. Most of the time, you're not going to get chewed off or rubbed off or any of that stuff. You're just going to land more fish. The other way of catching these fish that's really very so Southern California style exclusively is fishing the iron. When these fish are down deep, like they start out the season, they don't want to come to the surface and eat so much. You find them on your fish finder or the captain will find them on the sonar on the big boat. You want to present a yo-yo jig to them. And when we say yo-yo here in Southern California, we're talking about taking a big, heavy yo-yo iron like this, and when the captain says let it go, or your buddy running the boat says let it go, you drop it down to the bottom typically, or in the zone that the fish are in, and you whine like hell. And as soon as you get to the top, you drop it back down. When I'm gonna yo-yo, I have a specific setup that I really like to use. I use a heavier weight rod. This is a Pen Carnage rod. It's rated for 50 to 100 pound line. It is stout. But the reason I want to do that is that with that heavy lure, it has the action to kind of support the lure without the rod bending over every time you're cranking and really making more work for yourself. The other thing I really like for yo-yo fishing is a bigger lever drag reel. This is a Pen Fathom 40, and this right here for me, this would be my go-to yo-yo combination, heavy bait combo for just about any situation where I'm chasing a bigger fish, a yellowtail near the bottom. Another thing that we've been doing really successfully the last couple of years once those fish go from sort of the yo-yo mode to coming up on the surface, you'll see as the season goes on, you'll see them splashing under the birds and all that, then everything kind of shifts. Live bait still works great. It's always a great go-to, but then that's when we kind of get out our long rods and we're gonna start casting these lighter surface irons. And when I say light, I mean a Taddy 45, a 7X, a JRI, everybody makes a surface iron. Kind of pick the one that you like. You know, I've always been a Taddy 45 guy, just what I grew up with fishing, but the Salas 6X would be my close second. They're great. We've even changed that up in the last few years with the introduction of some of these hard baits. These are stick baits, they call them. That's the generic name. Nomad calls it a Riptide. That's their particular brand. You can fish this on a conventional. It works great on spin gear too. You don't really have to give it a lot of action. I just give it a little bit of pop and wind, pop and wind, and you'll see this guy dart across the surface. And Yellowtail love these. And then this one, if you follow the show, you know how we feel about this bait. This is a Mad Scad. It's a stick shad style design. You can wind it. You can jerk it and wind it. You can let it sink out. There is no way to work this lure wrong. And it has caught everything for us from yellowtail to striped marlin to wahoo. Great and effective bait. Fun to try something out of the box besides the iron and bait. You may learn something. You may learn a new technique. But for this spring, this is sort of my go-to arsenal. You know, give it a shot. Hopefully it puts some more fish in the bag for you. We hope you like the local knowledge show and you like these videos that we're putting out for you guys. If you do, please, Take a minute, hit the subscribe button over here, or check out some of our other videos. We really appreciate your viewership and hope you come back.